Hello there and welcome along to Hive Live Extra, your place for exclusive reaction and analysis following Watford's 2-0 defeat uh, away at Brentford. Marcus Force and Ivan Tony, the goal scorers in that game uh, to see Watford defeated this afternoon in West London. Uh, here with me in the studio to talk through the 90 minutes, Tommy Mooney and Paul Robinson. Um, I think we all said before the game, Tommy, we weren't really sure what to expect this afternoon, but now we've seen it play out. What are your thoughts? Yeah, we knew it was going to be difficult. The, the mental approach for that game after the, the, the scenes last weekend and a difficult, perhaps a little bit unstructured week in training. But nevertheless, we still had a chance of getting that top spot and, and you have to approach a game with, with that in mind. Brentford have a different mentality. They, they know they're in the playoffs, so they, they brought their A game today. Um, and it was just perhaps with the changes in the first half, certainly that, that sealed it. Yeah, Robert, I think Tommy said in commentary, after the euphoria that these players would have experienced last week and all that pressure, mm. it might have been a little bit difficult for us to bring our A game today. Do you think we saw that a little bit? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we definitely saw that today. Obviously, we saw um, not, not as, as enthusiastic as the players we have seen week in, week out. Pressure was all off them. Again, the emotions of, of promotion, uh, celebration still carrying on. So yeah, it was expected, it was expected, but like you say, it's Brentford, they're the ones who needed to go into the game with that, with that right mindset. Like Tommy said, the, the momentum then going to the playoffs always puts you in good stead. Four changes um, to the lineup, Tommy. Not only that, but to you lose two players as well in sort of the first half an hour. It must be quite unsettling for Watford. Yeah, absolutely. And there were key players that were missing today. If you, Chalabar, Saar, Kiko, They've been really strong characters for yeah. us um, at different parts of the pitch, but strong characters in the dressing room and on the pitch and very influential. So to lose them is more disruption. So it, it's understandable that performance. It's just the fact that in your back of your mind, you were hoping that Norwich would lose today. Them not doing that means it's irrelevant. Yeah, I suppose now, though, it just gives you motivation to make sure that we do finish this incredible season a high next week because we know that Swansea City are going to offer a similar kind of challenge in that sense, Robbo, that they've got this playoff place secured and they want to finish their season on a high. Yeah, they will. Again, is the momentum, isn't it? We talk about when you go into the playoffs, it's always the team who's in sixth. They're on a roll with winning games and, and Swansea will want to keep that going. Um, they might make changes. We, no one knows. Um, obviously, resting key players. Um, but again, it's important that we reflect on this week, enjoy what we've, we've achieved all season and then go in and, go and try and finish on a high last game of the season. Yes, uh, exactly that. We will be looking ahead to the Swansea game very shortly. But first, we're all about exclusive post-match reaction here on Hive Live Extra. So we can head to West London now, pitch side at the Brentford Community Stadium. Well, delighted to say, uh, joining us now on Hive Live Extra, having made his debut on the pitch today, now making his Hive Live debut as well, Maurizio Pochettino. Um, great to see you. It's been a tough day, hasn't it? But also really good for you personally. Some mixed emotions, maybe? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, on a personal note, I'm delighted to uh, make a dream come true, which is to make your professional debut. Um, something I've been dreaming of since I was a kid. and. It's definitely a really special day for me and one that I'll always remember. Obviously, the result wasn't what we wanted, but um, yeah, that would have been would have made it a bit sweeter if we if we did win the game. But again, on a personal note, I'm just really really happy to make my debut. Yeah, yeah. I suppose you could say maybe a little bit bittersweet. It was a strange game situation for you to come into with us losing. Um, but I suppose the bigger picture at the club at the moment is amazing, the fact we have been promoted. So what was going through your head as you entered the pitch this afternoon? Um, I say, as I was getting ready to come on, I was thinking is just to go out there and just try and enjoy as much as I could. Uh, this is something that I've been working really hard to, to get since I, was, since I was young and now that I had the chance to go out there, I just wanted to to enjoy it as much as I could and, um, and learn as much as possible from this experience. Yeah, I'm sure now that you have had this experience, it's really wet your appetite, hasn't it? You must just want so much more. Yeah, these experiences, they just make you want to push on for more. Um, I'm really, really uh, hungry and determined to, to make this the first of many. And uh, uh, I just can't wait to get more opportunities like this because they, um, they, 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 they really, they really have made me happy today. 
Yeah, we can see the smile on your face, even though obviously the game has been disappointing. We, we talk a lot here in the studio about the team spirit with this Watford side and how there just seems to be such a good ethos amongst the players. Have they made you feel really welcome as you've come into the first team today? Yeah, um, everyone's been really welcoming with me. Um, the, the staff, the, the manager, all the players, everyone's been really, really welcoming and uh, it's really easy to uh, to fit in when everyone so uh, receives you with open arms and it's uh, it's been a really good experience so far, yes. And what's it been like working with Cisco? Um, it's been it's been amazing to be honest. Uh, obviously, um, him giving me the opportunity today. Uh, I'm gonna be re I'm really grateful to him uh, for the rest of my career because this is a, a dream come true for me. So yeah, I'm just, I'm really grateful to him for this opportunity. Yeah, and even though you know this is the end of our season, we're coming towards the last match now. I suppose for you personally, it's actually the opposite. It's the start of something really exciting, isn't it? You must just really, really want more opportunities now and have that hunger going forward. Yeah, exactly. Um, I wish the season just started so that I could maybe get some more opportunities like these, but um, I guess I'm going to have to wait until the new season and hopefully I can, I can keep getting involved and, uh, and yeah, I just can't wait for more of, this, uh, of these sort of opportunities. Well, listen, well done today. It was great to see you out there in a Watford shirt, and I'm sure we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Maurizio. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Tommy, are there any positives you think we can take from today's game into our final one of the season next week? I think positives today uh, would be very rare, but that's OK, because we've achieved promotion, and that's the, that was the main aim for the season. Norwich have won their game, so even a 3-0 win today would have been irrelevant. What we do have now is the chance to, to finish the season well with a good performance at home to Swansea. Mm. I think before we kicked off today, a big positive was seeing Joseph Hungbo getting his uh, first league start out there. But unfortunately, Robbo mm -hmm. didn't quite end the way that he wanted it to. No, such a shame for him. Such a, like, a positive young lad in the performances that we've seen when he's come off the bench. To get his first start, talking to him before, he's really excited. You could see that he was desperate for the game to, to kick off and get going. And he showed some great glimpses of what quality he brings to the team and the little bright sparks. And yeah, it's just such a shame when you, when you go down with a hamstring injury, it looked like. Hopefully it's not too long. Yes, uh, we'll hopefully be able to give you an update on that when we can. Um, for Cisco, though, getting these boys ready for next week, Tommy, um, what kind of job do you think he, he faces there? Because you've heard all about the good vibes at the training ground. Do you think they'll be able to discover that again after today's disappointment? Yeah, I think because you've got a normal training week, you haven't got the promotion celebrations and a couple of days of, of uh, reflecting on that. And I think that it's important they go into that week and, you know, you want to finish on a high certainly go in with a promotion and then over the summer you need that so they've got the opportunity to do that we could have won today if Norwich had lost we'd have been waiting on next week mm. and then after beating Swansea still not uh, won the championship so I, I think it's a good opportunity to finish in a in a positive way yeah exactly that and actually one positive we really can take from today we've mentioned there Joe Hungbo's start which didn't necessarily end the way that we wanted it to uh, but just seeing some of the younger faces, um, Rizzio Postino getting some minutes at the end there, Robbo. Yeah, but it's always difficult to come into the game, isn't it? The way the way it was going, um, a little bit flat for him, but no, fantastic. Like as you say, we want these young lads to come through to experience playing for Watford Football Club. That's what it's all about. Is mm. we're a family. We want our youth to come through. Can we see more coming through? We are a family and uh, we look forward to being reunited with you again here on Hive Live next Saturday uh, for one final time this season. Uh, we are back at the home of the Hornets, hosting Swansea City. So that is a lunchtime kickoff in the Championship. We'll be with you from 11.30 on Saturday morning uh, for a full hour of Watford Focus Chat as always. Tommy, this side of the studio once more. Uh, he'll be next to Gifton, Noel Williams. So do join us next Saturday uh, from 11.30 for that full hour of Watford build up to our final game of this championship season uh, so we look forward to seeing you then gentlemen it's been a pleasure as always enjoy the golf course this week i'm sure you will and uh, we look forward to seeing you next saturday bit of a blip today but hopefully we can finish what's been an incredible season on a high next weekend we'll see you then
click here to subscribe